to get into this puppy, you need to start with a putty knife and release the top like that. Then you got to take this little, this little thing right here. This is. Plastic insert, some screws to remove. There's a couple down here. Careful you don't cut yourself because I, I didn't already done cutting myself already and I ain't even got started. Pull on it this way. And release the uh, the old and look at this. See how badly worn down that is? So that's one thing. I've seen them where they've been completely gone these are getting there but they're not gone all the way that can't be what's wrong all right look at that We've got clothes in there this is the bright and this is what raises it oh, you re release the brake If you don't lock that down, the thing will go flying off and break your damn wrist. You've seen me work on the Frigidaire or Electrolux type dryer, Gibson, Weston House, but never with this nice new Canon uh, SX160 IS. HD camera that I got. See my buddy uh, Space Cowboy TX from out yonder in Texas sent it to me. You know how Paul Paul rolls. Low budget all the way, baby. No, no budget, you might as well say. All right. Here you go. Let's see here. All I've got is the knowledge. I don't have none of the cash over or not or, or let's see if we can get some epic epic and award winning. Let's see if we pull this around like that. That releases the belt, see? Once you get that belt released, and don't worry if this comes off because it's, they do come off if the belt falls off and breaks sometimes, but it just, that stays just like that all the time. When you got that off, you can oil that. See, that's the first thing, now look here. I got me a nickel, man. Reading in cartoon funny papers yesterday, some woman found a five dollar bill and she had a dilemma trying to figure out who gonna get the five dollars. Was it her kids or her son? And she was the one doing the laundry. Yep, I know who would get them five dollars if I'm doing the laundry. All right, now. Now we can do some uh, salmon and we can zamernate this dude. Let's 
see what the hell went wrong. This is, says OL. Now this meter is a special kind of meter. It's expensive. My buddy, Mr. AJ from Appliancejunk.com gave me this. When you touch them together, it makes a beep. That means that there's a complete circuit. So that's what I'm checking each of these components for, to see if they're making a complete circuit. So the first thing I want to check is uh, show y'all exactly what's a what on here. Get in here, up close and comfy. Just so I don't make no mistakes, I'm gonna pull that wire off. Now that right there, that is the, this is the fuse. Let's see if the fuse is blown. You got a good fuse. Yep, ain't no much good. Not shorted. The heat element's not shorted and the heat element's good. See, I told you, you don't bring the easy crap to me. Next thing you want to look for on these, this blower will get loose. Now, uh, look at that. The motor's kind of stiff, too. Let's check it and see if it'll run. That's the next thing you do. Stick these two together. And now that's going to be hot, so if it rubs up against that, it's not going to be pretty. So we want it where it's kind of not going to touch and we ain't going to grab hold of it either. So that's the lid switch connects right there. We have bypassed that for testing purposes. We're going to see if it runs. See if it runs, JJ. Got the lid switch bypassed. The motor is a 110 volts. So one part of the motor runs on the middle, which is neutral. And then on either side, I don't know exactly which side it is, so I'll try that side first. Okay, so it must hook up on this other side. See, I've got the power unplugged. used it get plugged in but the timer was in the off position still not a but not a because I don't not a got it plugged up I, I know got it plugged up touch it ah! oh, oh look at that Ooh, She runs good. Well, I can't imagine. The motor's okay. This is award winning. Get your lies straight, JW. You always can get it wrong, don't you?
All right. You know why it's so hard to turn? Well, sir. On account it's got clothes in it. Complete with music, man. Got a good door switch. There's some good music on that rocket channel. It's 11.44 now. I'm still on hold. The B and B. Both have made eight four eight five. Hey, this is Paul Paul. For the best appliance parts in Mobile, Alabama, be sure to go to 550 Hawkins Avenue. See my buddy Chris Brown at B and B Appliance Parts and Supply Company. Phone number 251-478-3141. This is Paul Paul. I am not reading this. <laughs> that whole freak him out. When he comes online, he gonna hear this going. Play, play it back, Peter. This is going to be uh, 5.30. 393-7139 install. Yeah. First of all, get the old shit off there. No, I got it all off there. That's good enough. That's all I ever do. I've been scraping on it for 30 minutes. I done got it all back together again. This one they got from up yonder to Uncle Bob. Huh? They got this one. This one them uh, generic part from Uncle Bob up yonder. In New York City. Wonder how he came out in that flood. Hmm. They said that Queens Village got all messed up. I know it, maybe it was Staten Island got messed up. Well, it was nice and warm. It damn so did do a these folks down here, didn't it? On the now, if you put it on there like that, you're screwing up because it'll bind. It has. To, it looks like it might like to go that way, but it don't. You just stick it right on there, just like that. Well, that ain't what wore out. And what happened when you put clothes in there? That it was hitting that melt. That was making that noise. Yep, it's scrubbing. It's a scrub noise when it. Yeah. When that, I think it starts scrubbing, especially if them clothes is wet. Yeah, so they, they can't do nothing but rub scrub. Oh, there wasn't nothing of that thing left. Now, how long you wait before you put it on there? I'm ready to put the shit on there now. I think, yeah, once you put it on there and put it together, it ain't coming off. Oh, that door and that tub will hold it down, right? Yep. The weight of the drum holds it down in place. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, that's it. That's all. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. Later, Gagan.